Hey, welcome to part two of the video series on getting yourself set up to advertise on Facebook. Today we're going to cover demographics, targeting, being really creepy with your ad. Now we get into things that you can do on Facebook that make it really unique for advertising where you can actually target uh, certain demographics um, of people and people groups and um, and Facebook can very quickly tell you roughly how many people are going to be either seeing your ad or have the possibility of seeing your ad. Um, so you can target by country. I could add uh, United States in here as well if I wanted to. Um, target an age group. So let's say Apple nerds that I'm is sort of who I'm after. Let's say between 20 and 45 for just uh, an age. You could require an exact age match. Depends again on your website whether that's appropriate. Gender could be men or women. In my case, equal opportunity website here. Um, so precise interests, I could I could enter things such as Apple. Uh, so people who have specified on their Facebook profile um, an interest in Apple. Maybe I do uh, interest in iPhone, just because that's another Apple product. Uh, it presents a whole list, as you can see. Narrow it down as specific as you want. So if you were only going to be talking to people who have brand new iPhone 5s or maybe just really old iPhones, you can target those audiences clicking and adding their their interests. Uh, and as you're doing this, you'll notice that over in the right hand side, the number of people that you're targeting changes because Facebook is telling you roughly, in my case now, 13.6 million people have these live in Canada or the United States between 20 and 45 and list some of these uh, interests. So in addition to that, I can do very broad Tech, uh, topics, categories. Um, maybe I want to target small business owners or people who are interested in science and technology. Um, so that narrowed it down really quickly. You can see from 13 million down to 770,000. So maybe the reason why, like, I mean, one, you might look at it and think, well, I should just target everybody. But really, you don't want to target everybody. Maybe your, your website or business is only appropriate for people who would be interested in hunting or food cooking or, uh, in my case, technology. And so Really, I don't want to hit a broad market because it's, then I'm wasting ad impressions or clicks on people who probably aren't that interested in what I'm doing. Um, so in my case here, I'm just going to narrow it down to some iPhone 5 users, um, newer iPad users, etc. Um, the advanced connection targeting, you can target people who are already connected. Again, this assumes you have a Facebook page of some sort already, um, or events, and you can target people who are already connected to th your thing. So let's say you had a Facebook page for your business, you want to, to really target those people for maybe a, an auxiliary service or feature your website offers, that's where you could enter your Facebook page, or you could pre target people who aren't. So you wouldn't then hit the people who already are already know about you, um, and already like your Facebook page, you can uh, ignore them. It's a, and uh, not waste your advertising on them. And again, similarly here, you could target people who are friends of your event. So maybe I like your page, but your friends don't yet, but there's a good chance you'll be talking to your friends about it, and if you're talking to them and they see a Facebook ad about it, it just helps to keep that your brand, your um, business, uh, your website top of mind for them. So, um, And again, you can, like I said, you can go down very specific in the advanced targeting options, single, relationship, married, engaged. Uh, if there's an, a language-related uh, specificity to your website that might apply, or people you only want people who have college grad or who only work at a certain place, you can get very specific um, with your advertising. The campaign pricing and schedule section is where you can just you know give it a name. This is how you'll know. Um, so this is how you'll know what your ad is in, term, in your reports and things like that as you maybe have a couple of campaigns going. Um, and you can then specify, I want to only spend this amount per day or this amount for the life of the pro of my campaign. So in my case, I'm going to say I'm going to just, I want only $10 per day and I can run it continuously, which will, then it'll never end until I come back and tell it to stop, which obviously is what Facebook would like you to do. Or you can just set it to a certain schedule. So I want it to start on Friday and on the following Friday at, let's say, 3.30. Um, and optimizing it for clicks or optimizing it for impressions. Uh, clicks is basically where you would you only pay if somebody actually clicks on your ad so that they it could appear a million times and if nobody clicks on it you wouldn't pay 
if you optimize for impressions, it again, it would appear if it appears a million times, doesn't matter whether anybody clicks on it, you're still going to pay. So you're kind of going for uh, top of mind versus actual actions on your ad. And you can see that the price um, will change. So 22 cents per 1000 impressions is what they are sort of recommending I bid versus $1.75 per click. And so basically, this the way this works is up here, you can see that there's a suggested bid price in order to get the targeted demographic that I have, if I want to appear at top or near the top of the page on their Facebook ads listed on the side of their timeline, I need to pay somewhere between $1.19 and 323 US dollars. And so basically, what that amounts to is, it's like an auction. So I'm bidding to have my ad appear ahead of so another company's ad that's also targeting similar demographics. And so just a matter of choosing whether you want so I could choose I could pay 350 per click if I really wanted it was a really important ad campaign I needed to run and I definitely wanted to always appear at the top or if it's um, more of an ongoing ad campaign and it can just appear somewhere on the on the page I probably hit in the lower end of that uh, suggested bid your mileage will vary and you'll need to just run the ad and, and adjust as you see fit whereas I uh, optimizing for impressions you're not paying nearly as much but impressions can still run your ad budget really high if it appears a lot on a lot of people's pages and timelines um, and you may get a ton of clicks out of that too and you wouldn't pay as much as you would if you were optimized for clicks but um, you don't necessarily get the action in the same way that you would uh, if you optimize for clicks you can click review ad and it'll give you a summary of what your ad looks like and how it's going to appear and then if you place click the place the order that's when you'll actually submit the ad Facebook will then at that point go over your ad make sure it's not violating any of their um, principles term, terms and serve of their conditions and advertising guidelines and assuming all is good pretty soon your ad will start appearing and you'll start getting stats on the ad all right that's it for part two of the video series on setting up your advertising on Facebook be sure to hit the subscribe link below to be notified of new videos when I put them up you can hit me up in the comments below with any questions. I'm also on Twitter at iChris. ChrisAnds.com is my blog. LemonProductions.ca is my web design company. If there's any interest, I may do a part three on this series uh, looking at the analytics and the stats you get back from your Facebook ad campaign. So be sure to leave a comment below if you'd find that interesting or helpful and any questions you have related to that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey, welcome to part two of that. Getting your today, we'll cover uh, geographical. No, today we're going to cover the. Uh, duh. All right, that's it for part two of setting up your advertising on Facebook video. That's it for part two. A video training thingy.